Okay, we're back with another video. Uh, this is something that has been sitting on my mind for the longest time, for about a few years, and it's about time that I address it since a rival of mine did a video on him. Fame Legit, an older friend of mine that I used to make videos with. If uh, any of you long-term subscribers that have been subscribed to me for like longer than three or four years, you will know who this guy is. This guy was a he was a close friend of mine that him and I made videos almost every single day. Uh, we would do shout out series, we would do uh, battlefield funny moments, uh, GTA 5 moments, anything you can think of, we'll do it. Older videos that I have uploaded five or six years ago, I still have it on my phone that I might in the future, I might react to those. If you want me to do that, just leave a comment. But anyways, back to the subject. A Fame Legit has been, he was a really good friend. Him and I used to make videos together. I was uh, in the middle of working on his 4,000 subscriber montage. But then the next, the week since I started the, the montage, his channel was, I guess, deleted, but some people say it was terminated. And that night, when I found out his channel was deleted, I messaged him on Kick. what happened and everything. He doesn't want me to say, but it has something to do with like family issues and everything. Esports did a video on Fame Legit saying that his channel was deleted and was he loyal to his subscribers. He was loyal to subscribers, but there was a specific way he got those subscribers to come to his channel. We all know that YouTube has a horrible algorithm and smaller YouTube channels just like you, Esports, and me, we don't get any views whatsoever, no matter how hard we try to make videos. So what him and I used to do is we would comment on someone's video, say if you search up Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which was a huge thing back at the time, and then change that to like earlier this week or earlier that day when it was uploaded, we would comment on all of those videos that we searched up, hey, would you check out our channel or whatever, uh, just like every other YouTuber did back then. And I have not been caught from this, and most of you guys that have been subscribed to me for a long time, you know I commented on your channel saying, hey, if you want to like come and check out my channel, just go ahead and do that, and I'll support yours. And I actually have been loyal to my subscribers. I have been uh, commenting on their videos. I've been checking out their videos to see what's up. A few of my subscribers made videos about me, like a shout-out or something, and uh, that was uh, a privilege, really. It was... Uh, heart-touching moment to see someone making a video just about me in their video even if they're big or small it was it was such a big deal you know but fame legit he was a friend of mine I have no idea if he was le uh, legit or <laughs> pun intended but anyways I don't know if he was like loyal to his subscribers like if he commented or stayed subscribed to their channel when he commented that but normally when I would do that what he would do I would like see his comment there and then I'd put another comment uh, matching that and they would subscribe to me and then I would check out their channel, I would subscribe to them and I would comment in their video saying, hey, if you check out my video tomorrow, you might be shouted out and whatever, whatever. But that was in like 2015, 2016, but now we're in 2018 and things have changed drastically. Me and Esports crew have been in a bunch of drama in the past two years. I think we're good now, but anyways, uh, Fame Legit his channel was not terminated he deleted his channel by himself and created a new one so he could come back and make more videos but he I messaged him a couple months ago if he was coming back and he said probably not because he has to do something with his job and again with the family situation one reason why he did quit esports was because his computer stopped working and he sold his Xbox he sold his PlayStation he sold his PC, but his monitor, I think, is still there at his house. But anyways, uh, just a quick recap on my history. If you guys want to know more about my history, on because I've been doing YouTube for five and a half years. Coming up on six years this December, December 25th, would be six years of doing YouTube videos. And if you want me to uh, react to my first ever video that I did six years ago in 2012, let me know in the comments below. I'll do that, and I'll see you guys later.